Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the legendary shield, the Fabled Tortoise. So the first thing I'll have to do is travel to the course of cabins, and the enemy who drops this shield is a giant crystalis called Blue. You fellas so just follow where I go in the video to where he is. So it takes a while to get there, just ignore all the crystalisks. The one thing you do want to be concerned about is the caustic river. I mean, even at level 50, it can do some serious damage to you. But yeah, just run past the crystalis, you should be fine. Yeah, the one downside to farming blue for the Fable Tortoise is that there is no way to get there any faster than this, and there is no way to save and quit and come back closer than this. You always have to do it. Just kill that one, because that one can be a bit of a nuisance if he spawns. And then blue is just that big blue rock you see there. And once you get pretty close, he comes out. This is actually for a mission saving sound, but you can farm first. Yep, so once he jumps out at you, just shoot at the blue crystals. Those are his critical spots. And that should kill him pretty quick. Especially if you have a bee in a conference call, that really helps. Even after the patch, I still think it's pretty good. And yeah, once he's dead, just look around everywhere for it. As you can see, he explodes, so the shield really could go anywhere. You really gotta be mindful of where you check. You basically, anywhere there's land in this area, you should check for it just in case. And you can see, that's what I'm doing now. Just running all over the place. I think that's what the other crystalis dropped, but picked it up anyway. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't get it this run. That's okay, so same thing will probably happen to you a couple of times, so just save and quit like always when you're farming your boss, and just reload the save and repeat. But as you can see, I did eventually find it. I'll just let you have a good look at these stats. So as you can see, the shield has extremely high capacity at the cost of health and movement. This shield can let you survive just about anything because of the way it, but because of the way it plays, in most situations you'll be choosing the B instead. However, when facing an enemy where damage per second isn't that important to you, such as against Master G the Invincible, who has a literally impenetrable shield, I doubt the B is going to be helping you that much and this would be a much better way to go. So this shield can be really good in the right situations. Alright, so that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. This is my very first video and I'm planning on uploading so much more for Borderlands 2 and other upcoming games. So any feedback would be more than welcome. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.